the ability to create secure VPN tunnels and allow clients to securely tunnel in into your network is really useful thing to be able to know how to do. So in this lab, I'm going to create a CentOS 7 server that will also be an open VPN server that will allow clients to securely tunnel into the network. To do this, I'm gonna do this right on top of my laptop using VMware Player. So in the diagram, this is my laptop and the box represents all of my virtual machines that I can serve from my laptop. So you can see here I have a virtual machine client here, a virtual machine client computer here, and then here is my virtual machine, and I'm going to install CentOS 7 on a virtual machine using VMware Player. Now I'm going to install two network interface cards or two Ethernet ports on this virtual machine. One will be in bridge mode, and it will pick up an IP address on the network just like my host laptop computer does. Like any other computer on the network, it can pick up an IP address in bridge mode. So that will be ETH0, and then I'll use DHCP to pick up an IP address here. So this will face the internet. Then on my second ethernet port or network interface card, I'm gonna put that in LAN segment mode in VMware Player. Now in LAN segment mode, what will happen is, the CentOS 7 server on this network interface will only be able to communicate with other virtual machines that are on that same LAN segment on their NICs. So if I was to basically run another virtual machine and I put that network card in the same LAN segment, then they could talk to each other here. Now by doing this, I turn my CentOS 7 server virtual machine into a router and it will be able to bridge from the public network over here represented by the yellow where all my computers are on, let's say on my local area network, to this special LAN segment network that I'm going to call VLAN 10 and I'll run, let's say, a 192.168.10 network on it. And then if this interior client, if this virtual machine that I'm going to also create wants to, let's say, reach the internet, it'll have to go through my CentOS 7 server to get to the internet. Now on the other side, this client right here, my virtual machine here, whether it's running Windows or Linux or whatever, it will be able to VPN in through my CentOS 7 server and get into the green network over here. Also, my laptop running Windows will also be able to VPN into the green network through the CentOS 7 server. So that's going to be the test. Can we create a VPN server using OpenVPN that clients on the network will be able to VPN through to get to the inner network? So now what I need to do is I need to create my CentOS 7 virtual machine in VMware Player. So I'm going to open up VMware Player. I have it open right here. And I'm going to create a new virtual machine. And I'm going to install the operating system later after I create the virtual machine hardware. So I'll press next, and it's going to be Linux, and I've already got the chosen operating system here, CentOS 64-bit, that's the version. And I'll hit next, I'll name it. So it'll be CentOS 7 Server 3. I can change the location of where I want to save this virtual machine. So I'm going to switch it to my E drive, I have virtual machines here. Make a new folder for it. CentOS 7 Server 3. All right, I have it selected. Click OK. Double check to make sure it's the right path to where I want to save it. Press Next. Set my hard drive size. I'm going to choose 14 gigabytes for my hard drive size. I'll accept the default. Press Next. I'm going to customize my hardware. The first thing I need to do is go to my CD DVD drive and I need to use an ISO image file. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an ISO image file. I've already downloaded CentOS 7 server ISO image, the installer file that I can install CentOS 7 with and I haven't burned it to a DVD. What I've done is just saved the ISO image file to my hard drive. So I'm gonna select this option and then browse to that image. Now the image is also in a folder here. 
ISO images, CentOS 7, 64-bit. So now I have the path to my ISO file. Once again, you'll need to download this ISO file from CentOS.org. So I have that selected, connect it power on, that's good. So now what I'll do is I'll switch to my network adapter. Now I need two network adapters. The first one I'm gonna put in bridged mode and I need to make sure that I configure the network adapter to use my right NIC. Since this is a laptop, it has a ethernet port, a gigabit ethernet port right here, and then it has a wireless ethernet port right here. I'm gonna make sure this time I'm choosing the wireless NIC so that, I, that my, the one that my laptop's using basically to get to the internet. So this will be in bridge mode and I've got the right NIC on my physical computer that it's targeting or, or mapping to. And then I'll add another NIC. So I'll click add down here, choose network adapter, press next. I'll start it off in bridged mode and then later I'm going to change it to land segment mode. I'll press finish. So now I have two network adapters. Right now they're both in bridged mode. We'll see if that works and if the CentOS 7 operating system or virtual machine picks up both network adapters. All right, um, in LAN segments, I will be using them eventually. I think I can set this up right now, actually. Take a look. I'll choose this second network adapter and now change it to LAN segment. And then under LAN segments, you're gonna need to create a LAN segment. You can see that I've already added one, right? You can, here's how you add one, VLAN, let's say 40. Right, I have one here that says VLAN 10. That's the one I'm gonna use. Now it's just a name here. Just click OK and that's the name that I'm going to choose. All right, VLAN 10, LAN segment. That'll be this network adapter here. Once again, you might have to create your LAN segment using this tool here. All right, that looks good. I've got the plan for my two network adapters. I'll click close and uh, also customize the hardware. I'm gonna customize the hardware and the memory is set right now to one gigabyte. That's fine. For, the, for this project, I'll change that to two. So I'll change it to 2048 megabytes. So two gigabytes. And I'll go to processors and maybe I'll use two processors on this virtual machine. Okay, so that looks good. Now you're going to adjust your processors in your memory depending on how much memory you have available on your desktop or laptop that you're creating your virtual machines on. So if you have eight gigabytes of memory on your laptop, then I can afford two for this virtual machine and that's fine. If you have a quad core processor like I do, then I can use two processors, let's say for the virtual machine and that would be fine. And I can always change that later if I want. I'll hit close and finish and now the virtual machine has been created and all we need to do is power it on and it should boot to the ISO image file because if I click edit virtual machine settings again we've told it on the CD DV drive to not use the physical drive the the physical DVD drive but use the ISO image file and boot from this so that should work nicely so I'll click OK and press play, and it should boot to CentOS 7, and then we'll be able to run through the installation. All right, there it is. I'll capture the mouse, and you see that you can, I'm using the keyboard to switch whether I want to install CentOS 7, test the media, or troubleshoot. I'm just gonna press install and hit enter. Switch up to install, press enter, and allow this to install. Now, you're, as soon as you click inside the VMware player window, it'll capture your mouse. To release the mouse so you can get your mouse back, just press control alt keys that to the right of your um, spacebar on your keyboard. So hold down control and alt to the right of the spacebar on your keyboard and that should release your cursor. I'll finish the installation in the next video.